Scarfresher18, and I said I was going to make a video on how to make a sword like this, or like at least show you how you're supposed to make one like this, okay? And um, right before we get into the video, please consider subscribing if you like this video or any of my other videos. So let's get on to the video. And first of all, how you're supposed to make this is if you look closely at all of these pieces, they're just a whole bunch bunch of these flat pieces that are the, um, I think it's one third stud pieces. So, um, you'll need tons upon tons of these. Like, it probably took like hundreds or, or maybe even like a thousand pieces for this. But Cypher over there, he, made a sword about the height that he is and he is much taller than me it hit the fan up there i think no wait no no wait, wait. he's like five foot five or something okay. like it, it it's like right here i think <laughs> isn't it like it, it's about twice or more the height of this also pretzels are a gray cat there um he decided to rub my sword because he likes the sword, apparently. Little Mr. Kitty Cat. But, um, the first thing that you'll we'll need to do is, for making the handle of it, you want to make the handle the strongest point, since that is the point holding the most weight up, because that's where you're going to be holding on, most likely. You're not going to be holding on right here, or up here, or, like, down here, generally. But you want to make... Like, this is the most strong point of your sword, and the point closest to the point of force that you're using it, okay, will want to be the strongest point. And you can see how, um, there are larger pieces on the, on right here than up here, because these are just little two stud wide ones here, and these are like 12 or 20 stud wides here or like lengthwise there technically but um mine here is eight wide i think his is 12 or 16 wide so his is much larger but um i've just decorated mine with some little spikes here here like i've put some there there and there and and um i put this nice i think it's a hilt on here so um it so you know when another sword tries and hit you it'll hit that instead of hitting your hands because that would be kind of bad but um this is kind of like a one-handed sword it's like a one and a half handed sword so there's that but um that that's gonna be video basically but um you're just gonna need a lot of these flat pieces. You're going to need some of the longer pieces, if like longer wedge pieces, if you want your sword to look pointy. Like here, it was like, a, um, I think it was a 10 block long wedge piece here. Right here, this red piece. And then it's a separate red piece for the tip there. Like, you can see how, I think it's a slightly different angle there, so, there's that. But, um, what you need to do mainly is make sure this point is nice and strong as your point that you're grabbing it by. And then you can make it less strong up here with the weaker pieces, so, like, not necessarily pieces that can break easier, but you can use smaller segments of pieces. I'm like over here, which you would need bigger segments. Like, if I hold it from here, it flexes quite a bit more than if I hold it from right here. And that, that's just how it works. So, that's really like all that you need to know about how to make one. And that's, that's the end of the video. Please consider, please consider liking and subscribing. And have a good day.